Jungle Jim. A complete radio episode based on the characters and action pictures of the same name that appear every Sunday in the Comic Weekly. Sent to the island of Java to harass and hinder the Jap war effort, Jungle Jim and his United Nations group of trained guerrilla experts are doing just that. Jim was determined to destroy a vital irrigation dam, and together with Kolu and Sergeant McGovern, he planted time bombs within the very floodgates of the dam. But the shifting limestone blocks that made the flooring of the flood chamber trapped Jim by the foot. Though he ordered Kolu and McGovern to go on without him, they refused. They finally freed Jim's foot, but lost precious minutes in the process. Then, making good their escape, they followed the dry stream bed as it passed between two high, insurmountable cliffs. So when the time bombs exploded, the sudden surge of water caught the trio in a maelstrom. Swept before the onrush of water, Jim is handicapped by a swollen ankle. Mac and Kolu bend every effort to help him swim to safety. Back. Back. Here I am, Kolo. Hey, you okay? So far, okay. But Mac, where is Pan Jim? The rush of water swept him off his pins. I saw him go under. Over Kolo. by... Kolo. There he is, Kolo. Yes. Up ahead. Swim with current, Pan. A statue. Come on, Mac. Come on, he said. What else can we do? Chances has been more better when us get that cliff. Yeah. If we can last that long. How are you doing, Jim? Not bad. This blast an ankle of mine. Highland, not far away, Twan. Let's get there. Let's been safe. When we get there. Need any help, Jim? A pair of water wings are coming handy, but I'll be okay. How about you? Arms kind of tired, but... Not much fire now. Over to right. Oh, brother, it's... Good to have those cliffs behind us, too. Uh, hey, Jim, not that way. You, you fellas, go ahead. I'll get there. Yeah, if we can just hold out a little longer. Let me close now. Uh, you go ahead, Colo. I'm right behind you. Come on, Jim. Uh, lucky thing. Elephant grass on bank been so long. What's truck? Oh, it's on dry land. That's all I care about. Here, Mac. Reach out, Ham. Oh, I'm happy this way. I'll just hang on to this grass for a couple of weeks. Better us not stay in water. Come. No, no, I'll be... Here, me left you. Oh, Colo, you're just as tired as I am. More better this way. Oh, oh boy, that, that strong current really takes it out of you. Lie on grass in sun. Yeah. Catch breath. That's about all we can do. Hey, what are you... Take what? off gun belt. <clears throat> Wet gun's been no good. Oh, I don't think I've got the strength to pull the trigger anyway. Two minutes, catch breath. Okay, then. Yeah, if we can just... Hey. Lie down, Mac. Oh, where's Jim at? He ought to have been here by now. Jim! Jim, where are you? Oh, where are you going, Colu? Better me help, Swanji. Oh, wait a minute now, come you along. stay here, Mac. One Jim been right behind us. Maybe throw him over here by a riverbank. Uh, any sign of him, Colo? No. Bad thing here. One Jim. One Jim. Hey, Colo. Colo. Oh, where'd he disappear to? Colo, where are you? Panic stricken, Mac struggles toward the riverbank as fast as his exhausted condition will allow. We'll see in a moment what he discovers there. You know, the ancient Romans had an expression, no pleasure endures without variety. And one of the reasons for the Comic Weekly's lasting success is the wide variety of features it contains. Of course, variety alone isn't enough. And so the Comic Weekly sees to it that every one of its more than two dozen features is a top-notcher. That's why 15 million readers look forward each week to its brilliant full-color pages. Yes, 15 million readers know they can depend on this great magazine for sure-fire entertainment. Let it brighten your own Sunday morning every week. It comes to you with 15 outstanding Sunday papers from coast to coast. One of them brings it to this city. 
So ask for that paper every Sunday. Just look for the figure of Puck and the name The Comic Weekly at the top of the front page. Now, back to the troubled shore of an irrigation river in Java and Jungle Jim. Carlo! Carlo, where are you? Back! Back! Wait, over this way! Wait a minute, Jim. I'll be right with you. Oh, for a minute there. I wasn't sure I could make it. Take it easy now. Oh. I've got you. You'll be all right. But where's Colo? Colo? He was on the riverbank there a minute ago. Yeah, that's what I know. He was looking for you. Then there was a rifle shot and no more Colo. <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah. See anything from the bank there? Uh, nothing but muddy water and plenty of it. And the current's so strong that if that Jap sniper did get cold... Yes, he wouldn't have a chance. And those shots have been coming from the west there. Well, that means the river's our only chance of getting out of this. Cross the river and head east. But if there's a chance of helping Colo... If it... there is, we'll find it, Mac. If there isn't, we'll make one. Okay, but how? Our pistols are no good to us, soaking wet this way. Yeah, well, you can give that monkey the slip. We won't need him. Oh, no, soak him. I'm so bushed already, I couldn't give the slip to a lame turtle. Better to take our chances in the river than to wait here for him to pick us off. Besides, we have to find Colo. With that bad ankle of yours, Jim, you won't get very oh, far. Oh, never mind that. Come on. Oh, well, it just goes to show you. There's no rest for the wicked. You see anything? No, the water's so muddy, I... Get down again. That baby's getting closer, Jim. The trouble is, we can't make a move without showing ourselves. If a couple of those bullets have our names on them, we won't be able to help Colo or anybody else. Yeah. I guess our best bet is to try to get across the river. Look for him from there. We can only get word to Sing Lee and the others. Oh, Mac, we can't, so forget about it. Oh, boy. What I'd give for a couple of carrier pigeons. Hey, listen, what's that? I don't know. It's coming from the east there. About a mile away from the sound of it. Well, east is where we're headed. The current doesn't seem to be as strong now that the first rush is over. So with any you luck, we... You stand still, Englishman. Huh? Hey, Jim. Remain still. Put hands up. No, no, higher, higher. Unless you wish to become Coptic. Now, turn around, English pig. Well, it was a good try while it lasted, Mac. Oh, so you are America. So glad, so very glad. It doesn't take much to make these monkeys happy, does it? Oh, no, why Silence. Don't. You will speak only when your superior addresses you. There's no need to slap us around, Lieutenant. That, too, is for your superior to decide. You'll find our pistols on the grass there. As you can see, they're too wet to do us any good, even if we still had them, so... Can we lower our arms now? No. Oh. I said you will speak only when spoken to. Keep hands up. Now, walk ahead of me. And walk on toes. Huh? On toes, I say. Ow! Hey, that brain is sharp. Next time, I think it in your back. You, other one. Yes, Lieutenant. Japanese, very patient. I tell you for last time, walk on toes. I'm, I'm trying Can't to. Can't you see he can't walk with that bad ankle? Keep oh. mouth shut. Or must Bayonet do it for you? Keep your shirt on, Mac. No talking. Now, walk faster. Walk on toes. Faster. Faster, I said. I'm, I'm trying to, Lieutenant. Oh, oh. Medicon very fond of Bayonet here. I say walk faster. No, no. Keep to right. Back towards the dam, eh? Yes, please. Very fine welcome waiting for you. Very fine. Oh, I can just imagine. You might get a promotion for this, Lieutenant. Not impossible. Will it please have honor of making your filthy head roll in dust? You're going to give us a warrior's execution, are you? Yes, please. Code of Bushido, very proper. First, court martial. You will be found guilty. Then, honorable Japanese officer who take you prisoner makes head roll. Yes, that's your usual procedure. But you left out the next step, Lieutenant. You see? American General puts name of honorable Japanese officer in little black book. After war, honorable Japanese officer also have court martial and... Thank you, lie. You cannot frighten me. I spent too many years in your silly country. Yeah, and it's too bad you didn't learn any more about us than how to talk our lingo, Tokyo. Keep moving, please. Keep moving. I'm... I'm trying to, but I... Do not stop. Oh, I... I'm 
Sorry, Lieutenant, but there's a hankle of mine. So. The American cowards cannot stand a little pain. So, so. Very interesting. Only easier to make you talk. I can stand it all right. But this bad foot won't do what I tell it to. Indeed. Then, since it is useless, suppose we cut it off. Oh, it isn't as bad as that. On contrary. Foot is obviously in a hopeless condition. This bayonet is not perhaps a sharp knife. Hey, Nay, what kind of talk is this? Also, you think I'm joking, Yankee. I will show you. You'll try to use him for bayonet practice and I'll choke you with my two hands. A bullet will fix that if you try. Japanese most anxious to make prisoners comfortable. This prisoner has bad foot. Yes. So Japanese will kindly remove the... I'm warning you. You I... will try to accomplish purpose with one stroke. Raise the rifle. High above head. Jim, do not move. Or bayonet the... Out. Grab it. I got it. Oh, uh, 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 certainly didn't leave much of his head, Max. I just wanted to make sure. But what do you suppose? Look. Look. That knife in his back. That's him. That's him. Koro. It's Koro's knife, all right. Max, let's get out of here. But how's the ankle, Jim? Oh, not half as bad as I let on. Come on. Koro's down to the left here. Then the story not could fix Jap sooner at once. But got to wait till be sure not miss. What? What happened to you, Kolo? When Jap been shoot at me, me go in river. Circle round bamboo grove alongside. See Jap make you a prisoner. Not can signal you. Must got to wait. Wait for chance to use knife. Chance come. <laughs> me you. <laughs> yeah, that Jap never knew what hit him. All right, Mac. All right. Let's cut back across that river. We've got to find Sing Lee and the others. But got to do more, Twan. Eh? Huh? More? Me leave young Van in Bamboo Grove. Him plenty tired. What? Young Van? Yes, Twan. Sing Lee needn't help. Him be in swamp. Maybe so one mile east. We heard some shooting over there a while back. Me too. Van say Sing Lee and others cornered in swamp. Plenty shots on every side. And more coming. <laughs>